Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, to Lorim. Since our Oblivion playthrough failed utterly, we weren't able to progress in it without it crashing consistently and causing lots of issues. And what with the upcoming release of Sky Oblivion that we can wait for, I thought we should install and check out this other mod pack, this other huge overhaul for Skyrim. This adds something like 2,700 mods to Skyrim, and as I said, it completely overhauls it, changing the quests, changing the appearance, changing the graphics, changing the enemies, uh, and overhauling the difficulty entirely to make it that much more challenging. On top of that, we are going to be doing a legendary magicless barbarian run. Starting with the Left for Dead origin. So if you're unfamiliar with Lorin, it has a whole load of different origins that you can pick to choose to how you start rather than the traditional vanilla way where you're going to be executed. Uh, and the origin we're going to be choosing is Left for Dead. Uh, I'm not going to be taking any of the boons. You're given at the start of the game the opportunity to purchase equipment and items using a certain amount of currency that you'll get. You're given 50 gems or whatever it is to buy equipment. Uh, I'm not going to be buying any of that. We're not going to be spending any money at all. We've been ambushed by brigands, ambushed by raiders who murdered everyone in our company, murdered everyone, all our friends and family, murdered everyone as part of the, uh, who was part of the convoy, caravan, pilgrimage we were on, uh, and we've been left for dead and all our stuff was taken. So yeah, it's going to be a fun, challenging playthrough. It might take a while for us to get on our feet, but I'm looking forward to some of the antics and shenanigans that uh, we get ourselves into. Now, the only thing I will say is that because it's completely random in where you start, if we don't start somewhere in mainland Skyrim, if we start somewhere like Cyrodiil or Morrowind or uh, Solstheim or anything like that, I will have to restart simply because I don't know the land. I've never played the DLC. The game is going to be hard enough as it is without starting us off in DLC territory. Uh, and that will be a huge impact on the fact that I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. So we will have to restart until we get a Skyrim mainland spawn site. But hopefully that should happen in the first couple of tries. So we're going to be starting a new game here, guys. By the way, I love the music and ambience of this menu, this title menu. It's all like creepy and eerie and Metroid-y and alien-y. It's really cool. I was totally digging that. So yeah, you start off as usual with character creation. You start in a cell with nothing. We are going to be playing as a red guard because the red guards are really good. Unfortunately, their, their main skill is one-handed. I wish it was two-handed, but it's not. But the red guards make really good warriors. Uh, they have a hardy constitution and natural resistance to po poison and disease. Uh, they tend to show... Uh, they tend to shun their magic. Well, that's fine because we're doing a magicless run, so that doesn't matter. They are full of stamina and naturally skilled in melee combat, making them one of the strongest warriors in Tamriel. So, yeah, we're going to be choosing a red guard uh, for our race. Body, we're going to be male, presets. We want to be hench. We want to be absolutely fucking tonk, chat. Like that guy was. Like this guy. This guy's fucking massive. He could rip a book in half with no problem. I'm pretty happy with how he looks. I'm not going to spend too much time going into his actual... Uh, you know, how he... His appearance and stuff, because... You don't see it after you put on armor, and for most of the game, you don't actually see how they look. So we're just going to change this war paint for something that's really cool that I like. That looks pretty sexy. That'll do. War paint color. 
We wanted like a dark blue or something, I reckon. Something that will strike fear into our enemies' hearts. None of those. None of those are the right colour. Alright, we'll stick with that for the moment. Uh, then his hair. Whoops. Right, the hair, we want it to be... Oh, look at that. That is sexy, chat. That is sexy. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that would strike fear into anyone's heart. If you saw a man walking down the street looking like that, you knew he had no fear. You'd know that he was fearless. An immortal. That's pretty suave and debonair. Oh my gosh, sexy. Oh, we're going to go for the sexy, like, carrot top hair. We have to, chat. Look how brilliant that is. Look at this perm. Give him a nice sexy tash. There we go. And then change the hair color to ginger. Stark raving ginger. Look at that. Look how sexy our barbarian is. I like that. Uh, yeah, all good. Done. Finish and name your character. Bronan. Bronan, the adventurer. Warrior without fear. Uh, so you come over to let it load. It's just loading everything. Lorem 2.0 is finished playing. Perfect. So we need to open our inventory, open our magic. And then that should trigger the Requiem installation. So what Requiem is, is it unlevels the entire world. So rather than stuff scaling with your level as you go along, stuff starts at much higher level automatically, and you have to like level up to catch up to it. It basically um, amplifies the difficulty significantly. And on top of that, as I said, we are going to be... Uh, we are, I'm just going to check the settings to make sure we're on legendary. Yep. We're on survival mode, as you can see there, and legendary difficulty. It doesn't get harder than this, chat. It does not get harder than this. This is as hard as Skyrim gets. And this is going to be hard, trust me. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Okay, so as you can see, there are a whole host of different origi origins that you can choose from. A lot. It's really cool, the amount of depth this game has. There's so many different starts you can pick up. But I'm going to be left for dead. I was attacked and left for dead. The light of hope shines even for you. Don't give up. I won't, Mara. I won't. Right, let's go. Use the empty bed to begin your new life. Let's see where it spawns us, chat. Is that a Yeti? I hope we don't run into a Yeti before we've even got any equipment. And the fact that I hope we don't run into a Yeti full stop. Okay. So it's somewhere... Religion. Most denizens of Tamriel are religious. You may choose to follow a deity, receiving a minor blessing and learning about their sacred tenets. Okay. So we are going to choose uh, Morwa, I believe. No, not Morwa. Lecky. Yeah. Daughter of Tall Papa and Goddess of Swordmanship. She is one of the most commonly worshipped Yokudan gods. Follow her power attacks. Ignore a percentage of the opponent's armor. That will be very useful for us because we're going to be a two-handed barbarian. Our tenets are to bring the civil war to a conclusion, make and improve weapons, and master the skills of the warrior. Well, we're going to be doing all three of those things, so let's accept Lecky. Okay, let's see where it started us. So, your memory is a little foggy. What gear did you have again? You were given 50 tokens by an entity to spend on a great variety of gear. Choose them wisely. So that's what I'm talking about. You have 50 tokens to choose your starting gear. We're going to reject the entity. And we're going to start completely left for dead. First thing I'm going to do is crouch. Because I don't know where I am. Oh, let's check we're in Skyrim first of all. There's something over there. Oh, it's pistons. Okay. I saw movement. I was worried. Let's check we're in Skyrim. Yes, we are brilliant. We are in Skyrim. Looks like we're just north of uh, 
north of, what's it called? Markarth, actually. Yeah, this is Markarth, I believe. Cool. So we're in Skyrim. That's perfect start. Let's drop a save. Right, the first thing we need to do, we have absolutely nothing, chat. We've been left for dead. I don't know what we were doing all the way out here, but we our caravan was ambushed. All we have is our clothes, uh, a couple of apples to keep us going. Um, what's this? Medical history. Here you'll be able to select a number of defining features for your character. You can also choose to play your game without any traits at all and no changes will be made to your character. Oh, okay. If you want to hold off on making this decision, you can select cancel. You can define your traits... You can define your traits at any time, but please choose carefully because once you are finished with the process, your decisions are permanent. I'm going to play without traits, simply because I don't know how they work and I don't really want to buff anything. I want it to be as hard as possible. Traits sound like it'll make it the game easier. So, there's someone up there. Well, it's lucky I crouched. Right, let's... Um, Karen, look how beautiful it is, chat. Look at the fucking gorgeousness of this game. Okay, so there's a castle there. We don't care about that. We want to head to town as quickly as possible. We want to get to Markarth. What's that? It's a goat. That looks like Markarth in the distance. We want to head there. Once we get to town, we're going to have to steal everything that isn't nailed down or borrow everything that isn't stealing and nailed down. And, um, yeah, sell it because we've got no money. We don't have two septums to our name to rub together. A fox, yeah. Good. What's that? Is that a corpse? Oh, none root. I will take that, thank you. It is, it's just a corpse. Vita Salva. Brona, and she doesn't have anything on her. Funnily enough, she must have been taking a bath and got killed as well. Well, it's a beautiful day for a stroll. Yeah, we want to keep going straight until we find um, Marth, uh, Markarth. Looks like it's up over here somewhere. Wait, we can pick that? Jupiter. No, juniper. Juniper berries, okay. Let's pick some juniper berries while we're out here. We might be able to sell them for a decent amount when we get to city. Looks like there's some bandits up ahead. Or for sworn or something. Yeah, I can see them fighting over there. Sworn land route up ahead. There's the dragon burial mound. There's a stone over there. Is 
Don't want to head to the stone. They're usually guarded. Oh shit, wolf. Run. Didn't see it, didn't see it in time, couldn't go around it, couldn't sneak. Fucking leg it. So there's a farm up ahead. Move, goat. There's no time to get in the way. There's oh shit, Cliff. Holy shit, look how beautiful that is, chat. We made it. We made it to Markov. Gives me the butterfly. Thank fuck for that. That was close. That could have been bad, chat. Real bad. So it's a bit stuttery. I'm running this off my laptop. It is on max uh, settings. So it's going to be a bit stuttery. I hope it's recording okay. we harvest any of this stuff or is it stealing? I'm going to drop a save in case this is stealing. I don't know if it is or not. I don't think it is. Doesn't look like it. No one tried to stop me. Well, I can only get one chicken egg apparently. Can't do much else with those. Hmm. Okay, let's head into Markarth. Now that we're here and we're safe. We need to go and sell all the juniper berries we found. Ooh, flowers. Oh, nice. There's loads of flowers. Let's get all these flowers. left. Oh, God. You two head inside and get some rest. I'll send word to the Yarl. Thank the Divines we survived that. I'll do that for you if Those you want. Those Forsworn were fierce fighters. Fiercer than I could have imagined. Stagy tells me that you were bothering him today. Kolskiger mine is lost, friend. Forsworn killed everyone. Want me to tell the Yarl for you? You're from... Was. Forsworn came in the night, killed everyone. Gat and I are the only ones who escaped. Hopefully Skaggy will send word to the Jarl and something will be done. What if I took care of the Forsworn? I'd be grateful. Kolskager is my home, but I wouldn't go there if I were you. There's a whole group of them with axes and magic on their side. Magic? Never stand a chance. Bronan fears magic. Bronan not understand magic at all. Good day. Magic terrifying to Bronan. Kitty! Where's the kitty cat? You don't look very interested, infused. Can I take this iron ore? Is it stealing? Clothes iron. I'll take that. It's got some value to it, so why not? Yeah, you can't stand it when Papa's around, can you?
fucking look at that chat. Absolutely gorgeous. Which way, which way is the entrance? Oh, here we go. Flower picking. Off to the berry fields, boys. Got to pick all the berries so you can sell them, make lots of money. Ooh, butterfly. Get the butterfly. Yeah, my butterfly. So as I said, we're not going to be using magic at all in this run. That means no enchanting, no magic healing, like no restoration, no... Um, I will be able to brew potions. That's like the closest we're going to be able to get to magic is alchemy. Bronan know how to use natural ingredients to make heal potion. Heal self when difficult in battle face. Catch butterflies, therefore. Butterflies good for healing. Okay, let's go into Markarth. Whoa, what was all that? A bit of jewelry for your journey home. Oh, this pendant would look lovely on my sister. Watch out, he got a knife! That guy's taking his sweet time about things. He's just like, la 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 la, just wandering around with his knife out. The reach belongs to the Forsworn! Oh, oh shit, that guy got Guard. fucked. Forsworn. He got a knife! <laughs> Let's check Margaret. Oh, a steel dagger. Close. Strip her bear. Yeah, nice. Whoa, what fucking hell? That guy came out of nowhere. Like Batman and just decapitated him. What a hero. What a chad. What a champion. Take all that stuff. There are no Forsworn here. That was awesome. Gods. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? Why are you talking me through someone? I was right here. He almost killed me. I'm so sorry. I hope the aid give you more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Uh, do you know anything about this attack? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Add one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Okay. All right, then. Why are you just standing there looking Did at me? Did you see that, Madman? A Forsworn agent. Here in the city. Who was he? Who are the Forsworn? Think he worked down at the smelter. A lot of laborers there are sympathetic to the Forsworn. They promise people they'll kill off all the Nords that rule over the Reach. Nothing but murderers and saboteurs. Oh. Oh, Bronan. My entire day. Okay. Um, so, who can we sell to? We need to go to uh, the alchemy shop, don't we? Yeah. You are hungry, which reduces your total available stamina, represented by a dark region in the stamina bar. Hunger also affects how quickly you can attack with weapons. Eat food to reduce your hunger. Cooked meals are significantly better at storing hunger than raw, uncooked food. Eating raw ma meat may lead to contracting food poisoning. Okay. What was that Can't about? Can't talk. Mullish will beat me if I stop working. Who else works here? Me and Hathrasil mostly. Mullish barks at us all day, but I wouldn't call that honest work. A few people in the Warrens used to work here. Degain broke some bones a while back. Altris quit. Kareen is too sick. 
Until next time. I oversee Markarth Smelter. Worker gets out of line, I get him back. I hope your stay in Markarth treats you better. Oh, that was the Until guy who gave me the note. Okay. Right, the alchemy shop should be around here somewhere. I think it's up here on the left. Is this it? Doesn't say. It. Yeah, okay, what's that? Something cure? Yeah, this is promising. The hag's cure. Should be alchemy with any luck. It's down. Stairs, dear. Just come right in. Whoa, this place is awesome. Can you just take ingredients? No, you can't steal stuff. Why can't I steal? Oh, you have to be crouched. That's so cool. That's so useful as well, actually, because it was really frustrating in the um, other game. You try and talk to someone, and you'd accidentally pick something up that was stealing, and everyone would go mental. Now you can't pick up stuff unless you're stealing it specifically. That's so awesome. The Hag's Cure is here for all your discreet needs. The Hag's Cure, that's a unique name. comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then, the insults. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem he has. What problem it is? Thank you. Uh, what have you got for ah, sale? So you're an alchemist then. Healing potion. Oh, recipe healing poltites. Six hundred. What? Oh, we're never gonna afford that. We've got four gold. Okay, at least we know she has it, so we can come back and sell that. Uh, how do we sell? Select. Okay, here we go. So we can sell the wine. Roasted meat we're going to need to eat. Nern root we can sell. Chicken's egg is not worth anything apparently. Why are these not worth anything? Is it because they're not identified? Might be because they're not identified. Let me identify them quickly. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Shouldn't have eaten all that stuff. Right. I have potions for disease. Look. Is this so stuff worth anything to you now? Like potions and ingredients. No, it's still not worth anything. I suppose that's good because otherwise you can just go around buying, gathering flowers and stuff like that, and. Uh, because there's infinite flowers sitting about, you could just gather them and then just sell them all, and it'd be that easy to accrue vast amounts of wealth. How do I? Uh, not how do I? Where is the store? The general store here. Oh, cool! A pigeon. Look how brittle the metal. Do it again. Blade. What just happened? I just did like a 360. What's wrong with your apprentice? Cassidus? Boy's an Imperial. I keep showing him how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrish, could you bring it to me? Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Look 
looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Okay, we Let sold one of the steel daggers some... we found. That's something. Getting a bit of money here, chat. A bit of money. Balthazar's books. I need a general store. What's this? Silver butt in. This looks promising. Trading company. Okay. This might be a general store. about everybody in here give a holler if you have any questions did you hear all that noise outside it's just the market rabble we should get back to work you there if you're here to trade step up to the counter she says before walking away oh i'm here to trade hello Are you gonna fucking trade with me or what they say the college has been snooping around sartal mages in the burial crypt no good can come of that Sure oh, better by days. the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now, this store would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks, especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. I'll do it. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. Bro, I like gold. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them pressures. Clothes. We want the gloves. Nearly a hundred gold chat, we're loaded. Come we're rich. <laughs> Let's put the gloves on. Oh, I could have sold the stallion's potion. Why can't we sell the stallion's potion? Is it stolen or something? Read Eltry's note. Meet me at the shrine at Talos at midnight. Key to Margaret's room. Interesting. So she had a room somewhere. Maybe she had stuff that we could take. Need something? Let's drop a safe since it's all going so nicely. Let's go and deliver this potion that we were given. Kitty cat! Kitty, eat the pigeon! Eat the pit you're useless. Look how fat you are. Bloody fat cat. That's what you are, lazy fat cat. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Excuse me, bloody enough. Now turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you, doesn't want you. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. That's the way it is. That's the way it'll stay. Looking for what? Jarl is who you want to talk to. Always coined to be made killing off some forsworn in the hills. As long as you don't mind going axe to axe with a bunch of Daedra worshipping savages who practice the dark arts. Oh, magic. No magic. Magic bad. Go deliver this. You might give us some money as a thank you. What is it? What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. 
We're done. What's going on? If it's about the Hall of the Dead, no, you can't go in there. Why not? What's in the, uh, why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. I could help if you tell me. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... Eaten. Ugh. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arke will reward you. Take my key and be careful. Okay. Tread lightly. Get away with that. Oh, there's that stealing. If I just steal, I have to load it if I did. You here to see the Yarl. No sudden moves, understand. Okay, that wasn't stealing. Why was he like, you won't get away with that, you weirdo? Get away with what? What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Excavation site. Nishuan Zell? The ruins underneath Markarth? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who Ronan, I am? Ronan, not idiot! Recognized scholar Ronan, Ronan adventurer! Warrior without fear! You keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. Ronan, forgive me. I'm in you. the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? I'd like to see the excavation site. Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? <laughs> After all that, he's like, okay, I'll here you go. I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuan Zell. My workers call her Nimhi, the poisoned one. If yeah. you deal with Nimhi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Can I buy the mud crab? What? Of course. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Weird. What? What oh. mud crab? I don't know what it's talking about there. Uh, so let's go do the Hall of the Dead mission quickly because that is non-combat, free way to get some cash. I think. Unless they've changed it. Not many would walk blindly into a crypt smelling of steel and blood, but not fear. You smell Bronan? Bronan not showered in days. No, no, it doesn't. Not really. It's all right. I will not shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything you have forgotten. Once a mortal shopkeeper, the Lord of Life and God of Funerals is granted divinity by Mara. Follow her. Regenerate health when weakened can perform Arke's rites on the dead. Slay the undead and their summoners perform Arke's rites. Never openly break the laws of Skyrim. Never summon the... Oh, no. We're going to join the Thieves Guild as soon as we can. That's probably the best way to make money. Nice. We'll take that and sell it. Like the Thieves Guild will probably be the quickest way to make cash. You were young when you first tasted human flesh. Ooh, who the you? fuck are you? Oh, A God. Or sister had died. She's got, got An stuff all over her face. Course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. I don't have any guilt. Bro, none have no guilt. I'm not a cannibal. What are you trying to do to me? Guilt, what are you a talking about? A lot of our about? kind block out the memory of their first meal. The shame is too much. But you don't need to hide anymore. 
Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. She has a place for us where we can sate our appetites without judgment. Where is this place? It's inside Reachcliff Cave. But the dead have stirred from their slumber recently, and I was forced here. Meet me there. We all fight our way to Namira's embrace together. Until then, tell the people of Markarth that their dead won't be disturbed anymore. We have bigger plans ahead. Cool, she just, oh, she turned invisible and I'm just walking off. All right, I'll let you keep your parlor trick. I won't reveal your strategy to anyone. Take some ingredients. Take the food. Don't think there's anything in here, is there? There is no dead in here. She's probably eaten them all. They're just a bunch of empty shelves. I like there's no objective marker as well. There's no, like, uh, quest locator that didn't just show you where to go. You have to, like, work it out for yourself. Like, that'll be cool in some of the Thieves Guild missions later on. You've returned. What happened at the Hall of the Dead? Or maybe I just haven't got any selected at the moment. We'll find out in a second. The Hall of the Dead is safe now. Preserve you. You're a hero. We'll reopen the hall right away. Here, take my amulet as a reward. I look forward to our next meeting. What does the amulet do? Can we sell it? Won't I need to sell it? Health is increased by 10. Actually, that's quite useful. Bronan might sell, though. Um. Oh, I haven't got any selected. Begin your new life. Oh, my head. I should have known better than to wander around alone like this. Bandits attacked out of nowhere. I've lost everything I ever owned and all because of some stupid rumors. I should have waited for Lexius to hire those mercenaries instead. I have no idea where I've ended up or how far from the nearest safe haven I may be, but I certainly can't stay here. Begin your new life. Not sure how to do that. Oh, now there's a locator. Oh, I see. There's locators in the bottom. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, that's why I couldn't sell the stallion's potion. It's because it's the potion she gave me to give to the guy up here. That's why. It's not actually mine to sell. I thought I'd found a potion on someone. There was a stallion's potion. You have the honor of addressing a member of the Thalmor. Bask in it. As if this craggy wretch of a city could give birth to a superiorly bred myrrh such as myself. No, I'm not from Markarth. I was sent here to lead the Thalmor's interests in this corner of Skyrim. It's my mission to root out all Talos worship in this city. You, why are you after Talos worship? It's a religious worship, matter. The Thalmor do not recognize Talos as a god. He was only a man and does not deserve a place in our pantheon. The Empire has agreed to accept our beliefs, and its citizens have a responsibility to cease their heretical worship. You're awfully inquisitive, aren't you? I like that. Perhaps you'd care to solve a little problem I'm having. Sure. What is it? Ogmund the Scald. He's old, respected, and I know for a fact that he worships Talos in his home. But the Yarrow has been hesitant to call for his arrest. 
I want you to break into his home and find evidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'll warn him about... I don't know. We'll see. You. Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarn? I'm a traveller. I have questions. I'm looking for work. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. <laughs> the Thane's just like, oh god, this bitch won't shut up. Uh, I've got a potion for you. I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. Looking for work. Got any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on Forsworn. Here, take a look at this decree for details. I have a delivery... I have a delivery from both, oh, yes. Um, uh, thank you. Here you go. Some gold for your assistance and your discretion. 50 septum, nice. I have letters to read. Okay, you have to kill the first one leader. You speak to Igmund, son of Orothia, Jarl of Markarth. Jarl of Markarth. Are you a cell sword? I don't like your kind. No, I'm Bronan, the adventurer. Loyalty. Unreliable. But Warrior without fear. Potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. We will see. Yeah, I can probably do that. Guards told me. Poor Margaret. And witnesses report that the attacker was shouting some nonsense about being a force one. I want to make things clear. Markarth has its troubles, but there are no force one in this city. They are only a threat in the hills and along the roads where they live. Everywhere else, we are in control. Right. The vines watch over. Right, of course you are. Okay. Um I'm trying to think what's a good way to make money. I think if we go into the excavation site, but don't go too far in, there aren't any enemies to start. And there's loads of Daruma metal lying around, like this kind of metal, that you can pick up and uh, smelt down into ingots. And then I'll be able to sell the ingots for some cash. A spade. That might be useful. Here we go, this stuff. This this metal. Pickaxe, nice. Now I can Now I can mine. Pick up all this Druma stuff. And uh, melt it down, smelt it down, and sell it. Or just sell it. I don't know. We'll see. Dwarven dagger. If the name's greyed out, does that mean it's empty? I think it does. Oh, look at that carrot top go. <laughs> nice, we found a garnet. Free iron ore as well. Uh, how do 
do I zoom in? How do I go back to first person? How do you block with this as well? If that brings up that, how do you block? Huh, weird. Let's just see something I have to plug in, uh, plug my mouse back in, because it's got a, I think you have to, if I even can. Yeah, it's got a wheel on it. So when it does that, you have to, am I over encumbered? I'm over encumbered. Uh, okay, let's unplug the mouse now. Uh, okay, so I need to disable the controls. Controls. Okay, I'm having difficulties now. It's not selecting. It's not letting me select. Let's um, try unplugging the joystick and then plugging it back in. There we go. Nope, now it's not working. Now it is. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we are over encumbered by two. Okay. Dwarven dagger. Steel dagger's barely worth anything. It weighs 2.5. Let's drop that. Uh, still having difficulty moving around. Presumably it's got this mouse registered. Yeah. So it's... Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so the configurations have been messed up. We're coming to the end of the episode anyway, guys. So I'm going to end things here for now and uh, pick things up in the next stream. Thank you so much for hanging out for the first episode. I hugely appreciate it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's not, it's not fucking saving now either. Uh, I'll figure things out in between episodes. But guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'd hugely appreciate it. Be sure to smash that like button if you're having a good time. I want to see more of Bronan, the adventurer, warrior without fear. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Lorem. So hopefully I'll see you all there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, so I'll wait till next time.